is open now. Now, when London successfully bid for the Olympics, the key word was legacy. And today in Birmingham, I found work in place to secure a legacy here in the Midlands, from building ties with Jamaica to launching the career of a young designer. Meet Babsy. Her official title might be Honourable Olivia Grange. She's Jamaica's Minister for Youth, Sport and Culture, but... Everybody in Jamaica calls me Babsy. Okay. And so will we. Not even Babsy is above school rules. So just like everyone else who visits Hampstead Hall School in Handsworth Wood, she had to wear a name badge. Her visit to Birmingham is in the name of building links between Jamaica and the city that go beyond Olympic year. London 2012 is going to be awesome for Jamaica and Birmingham will also benefit from Jamaica being outstanding at the Olympics because we have partnered in the journey. And she's not the only Jamaican who's been making herself at home in Birmingham. On Sunday, sprinter Asafa Power broke the track record at the Alexander Stadium. Next year, he'll be back for a pre-Olympic training base. And the Olympics are already special for 14-year-old Nasser Butt. His design for a mascot has won a national award. So today, Olympic champion Jonathan Edwards paid him a visit at St Albans School in Highgate. I think of it as a great inspiration. At least I get to put this onto my CV, take it to jobs and all that. So it's something good for me and I feel great about it. London won the 2012 Olympics by saying they'd have a legacy. And building links with Jamaica and inspiring children to play sport, well, they're keeping up with it. Yes, the legacy of London 2012 is already taking shape. And just over a year ago. Wow, Indeed, yeah. What about yeah. those golf Oh, I know, they're phenomenal. Off oh, the paving slabs. It's brilliant, yeah. I'd have fun. missed that with a throw, I think. Very <laughs> impressive. Thanks, Dan. Thanks very much, Dan. Well, uh, let's uh, take